Wario, stop splashing in the kiddie pool. You'll get your clothes wet. Yee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Take two on this one because the camera ran out of battery. <laughs> that part was going on for like 50 some minutes anyway, so it's like, ah, oh, whatever. So uh, it's probably a good thing that I am restarting this thing because of how freaking long it took. Uh, there's a switch right there which activates this treasure chest. There you go. So it's it's not an entirely super well. Not, okay, okay, none of the runs are really all that blind because I've played through this game before. But you know, I I forgot most of the details of this game. But now that you know I've played this level now, I've I've sort of got the hang of its layout. Okay, you got this scorpion-like guy. Pound the ground where its head is. Pick it up. That poor thing. Oh, just look at its sad face. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you don't notice that there's a, there's a trapdoor over there as well, but whoa! That's like a magnet guy, but he's kind of far away from where he's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, over here we've got a puzzle of sorts. What you want to do first is hit that to make it go up, and then ground pound to go down here. Yeah, on that one block. Free the trapped Spriteling. Oh, I guess those things are called big scorpers. And you'll notice that as you're down here, uh, what are you supposed to do? You gotta re jump off! <laughs> the game is literally designed so you have to jump off there, as far as I can tell. Okay, now, hit all the switches. All of them except for this one. Hit this. Ooh, voila! Get out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the next trap door. Woo! I don't, yeah, I don't think I need anything for it. What do we, oh, this one, okay. Hit this, run, 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 Ah! Oh, that's how you get up there. <laughs> but you should be on the uh, right block instead of the left block as you go up there. Or, wait, maybe not. Maybe you should be on the left block. I'm just trying to look at this before I go. I kind of forgot how this goes. Well, that worked somehow. <laughs> There's that. The trap Spriteling. Good to know. I think they're referring to this Rubik's Cube type of enemy thingy you'll be able to see later. What is... Oh, it's pillars. I was gonna say, why is there a shadow there and it's like there's nothing there, but it's just the camera flipped around and you could see the inside of the pillars. Alright, there's... If you don't know about this level, it's like a pyramid in its layout, so... It's... You can get through this level many, many different kinds, and that many different kinds of ways, and that also makes the level extremely complex, because this is the one, I mean, this is like the only level that has multiple pathways, hiccup, excuse me, to get through the level. Hmm. I think I want to go this way, because I believe it's a dead end of sorts. I don't know why I punched that. <laughs> uh, is there anything up here? I can hear a, a shiny... Heart fragments. Do I want to jump down there though? I don't know. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll just take care of you like that. <laughs> the old fashioned way. Always the best way. <laughs> oh. Okay, what's down here? What do we have? I don't I don't think I ever came World One boss? Really? Do I get something for defeating you? I might get something for defeating you. You don't seem to have a health bar, though. <laughs> okay, where are you? Wait, what? What? How did you... Come on, now. <laughs> You're the world one boss. Well, should I be having this much trouble with the world one boss? Probably not. <laughs> Always watch his path. There we go. When he takes enough damage, she'll go into frenzy mode there, and that's how you can tell he is... Are you gonna try and drain the... I mean, suck me into the center or something? Where'd he... Huh? Where'd he go? What? 
Ha uh Huh? Huh? <laughs> I I guess he's optional? I don't know. Alright, so this one, this Oh, I remember this. It is a block puzzle. See that block over there? See these four blocks? Well, here's a hard fragment here. What you want to do is zigzag these blocks in a staircase pattern over to that red crystal. And this is how you do it. Now, if you notice that you just, I mean, well, I just hit a block to give it one block more uh, of length. Do it on this side once again. Do it here again. And again. Go right on top of this block. And sure enough, the jump is diagonal, so they made the platform a like diamond diagonal thing. And there you go. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing that I played through this level before because I had a couple of issues with puzzles like that. Now for you! Do you have any significance in this level? <laughs> I, for, for some reason I feel like I accidentally despawned him somehow. And I don't think I should have been able to do that. I, I would think such a formidable enemy, if, you know, the World 1 boss is formidable, uh, I would think they would, you know, give a prize of sorts. Eh. Yeah, something happened to him before that made him... Oh, there we go. Now, what do I get for you? Nothing? Seriously? I guess he really was optional after all. Oh, jeez, I need to switch for that. Um, to use these things properly, hit them on the side that you want to go. Like, say, I want to go up to that ledge up there, so, I want, so I'm going to hit it off to this side, and you'll be flung off in that direction. And that's how those things work. I'm looking for ye old shiny thing somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. That takes care of that, but I still need that switch for that side. But at least I know where that treasure chest is. Hello there, I need to get up there. <laughs> There we go. There's a switch up there. I just believe I gotta get it from the lower spot. I mean, get it from a higher spot to get to the lower spot, pardon me. Oh, this one. What you wanna do here, slam, use that block to get on top of there if you want some coins. Like, use the momentum. But you really don't have to do that, I don't think. Yeah, and you'll notice that the sprite wing is down there, but it's just like right in the middle of. You know, it's in your vision so you'll never miss it. <clears throat> hmm. The laser jiggle fish is the name of those jellyfish guys that you'll see around here apparently, uh, I, I guess. Anyway! Uh, oh, okay, that works. <laughs> Do I want to go down here? I, I'm not, let's see. Here's the jiggle fish. They have lasers. Now what you want to do to, if you want to damage them or something like that, just butt slam them with the ye old R button in midair. Garlic Man is my buddy there if I need him. There's a switch. And what is over here? A trap door? Yeah, on this level you want to look around all over on these like like ledges here in front of the, where the camera is. Because they like to hide a lot of stuff there for some reason they're just kind of like sadistic like that in this level so i ended up moving a lot in this level like i kept going from place to place and i kept missing stuff because i i never looked at places like that because i figured the camera wouldn't be deceiving me but it was deceiving me <laughs> oh my oh dear oh dear oh dear <laughs> oh my how do I do this? Oh dear. Oh good gravy. Oh. Let me up on top. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh this isn't that bad actually. This reminds me so much of the um, Super Mario Sunshine with those moving colored blocks things. That was totally descriptive. Am I supposed to do a dash jump to get up there? Because I'm not seeing it. Oh jeez. Because I'm not seeing any other way to get up there unless I dash jump. Oh, shouldn't shouldn't try to jump the gun here. And I think I could use those pillars in the center as sort of a guide per se. And Wario's got really really good shoes. 
Mm. Whoa, whoa, oh jeez. Wait, is that, is that other one moving over there? Yeah, I think that other one is moving. Oh gosh, of all the places to land, I go in the hole. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I've ever been into this one before on my initial run. This might be one of the things that I was missing in my first run. Well, it's probably a good chance that it's one of the things that I'm missing if I don't remember it. And again, my memory is terrible in general, so... No, I'm, I'm sure I never was here. Well, maybe I was here before when I played it years ago, but not not in my uh, walkthrough run. Eh, this could take a while, although it seems to be more about patience than anything. How did I survive that? <laughs> well, I would have survived it anyway, just by sheer design that you can't die by falling into a hole. But wow, you get what I mean, that was pure luck. Eh. Alright, so are these things moving? I... The time for that spike ball to come back. I can't tell if I'm supposed to dash jump onto that other platform or not. You know, the one with the crystal and prizes at the end there. Eh, ah! What? Uh, hmm. Uh, uh, what did I get stuck on there that prevented me from falling off? Did I fall into that middle hole again? <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't be rushing, because I, I did much better on my first run than I did on my other ones, because I was more careful. There we go. Okay, stay up there. Okay, that one is definitely moving, so I have I just have to stay on it until I get... Get to the other end. <laughs> what a disappointing situation, I swear. Uh... Oh, and there's another uh, platforming segment in here that's just all pure platforming with no real moving platforms. It is surprisingly difficult, despite how it sounds. You'd think something like that would be really easy, but it's not. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when I get there. Get over there! <clears throat> Maybe I should be using that middle block more to, you know, avoid the spike balls. Yeah, I think the middle box safer in a way. <laughs> At least on that last one. That last one's or like or the last couple of them, they're pretty uh, hazard filled in the way that they're set up, and that you have to transition from one side to the other as a spike ball is in your face. <sighs> I'll get a good run on this eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, it's definitely a lot safer to be at the center there. Ah! I mean, like, if I were to drop off there, it would be no big deal, and I just do a flipsy flip. Whoa! <laughs> Can I, like... Yes! Finally! Let's get out of here! <laughs> ah, my hands are sweating. That's not because I'm in a desert, either. Although it could be. Oh, anyway. Let's... Oh, there's a switch there I missed. I can get that with... Eh, like that. The glue globes. What's up here? Oh, this must be one of the... The guys that they were talking about er earlier that I completely forgot their name of. Their weakness is that glowing green thing. That. Just keep punching it until... It makes a piece explode. To sort of divide and conquer. Well, how do... I'm, how did I get stuck on his body? I was like stuck inside... I don't get it. <laughs> Two down! Come on. Come on. Die. Thank you. I appreciate your death. And there's this treasure chest, I guess. I still get to get up to the spot. No, 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 I don't want... Well, actually, I do want to go down here, because there is that. And I'll need to come through here later anyway. Oh, Battle Arena! Better grab one of these! <laughs> as soon as you see that force field go off, grab a pillar or something. Oh. And when it runs out, grab another pillar! Pillars are by far the greatest weapons in history. <laughs> you think a, a human could not pick up such a thing, but Wario is more muscular than you think. He's more muscular than he looks. <laughs> oh, I have to use 
Man, I gotta do this to get you out. There we go. And I hear a trap spiteling. I think he's outside the arena. At least he better be. <laughs> I hope I didn't pull out a pillar that, you know, I'm gonna need to jump up to get to something. Come on, laser! 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 Come on! <laughs> I can't ground pound you until you laser. There we go. When he stops lasering, then you can grab him. Like that, and it's over anyway. Eh, decent drives, I suppose. Uh, oh, I see. I bet you it's up. Yes! Up yes is up there. It's another version of it. You know, that phrase. <laughs> mm. Is the Iron Cider the name of the boss? Just might be. Anyway, let's look around here. As I said, be, take a very close look for anything around the edges. Like in front where the, the camera might be hitting. Uh, hitting. Hiding it. I need your body. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Come on now. He's not that big. I can get down there. I can get down there using Scorpion Guy. There we go. I don't know what the heck happened the first time, but... Uh, with this one, you want to do something like this. <laughs> Seriously, that's how they want you to do it. <laughs> Gotta have fairly good timing with that, but not... It's not that hard to do it. Now for here, get yourself lined up with one of the blocks, probably the larger one of the two. And hop on top of it. Doesn't really matter if that's spinning or not. It just looks more intimidating than it actually is. Just aim for the center. And then angle yourself towards the platform. Now with these, just run across. <laughs> Wario has the... Oh! I think I had a stroke. <laughs> Wario has that thing like Mario where you can walk across one square gaps. Um... I don't remember if there's anything around here. <laughs> oh! Oh my! Oh goodness! Oh gravy! Oh my! Why is this so slippery? I think it's got the physics of the uh, sand itself, actually. Okay, there's nothing here. Because the sand falls again. Alright, I think I got this particular spot cleared out, so let's take another path, I suppose. Uh, I think I'm getting close back to the beginning, actually. Uh, wait, there's something over here. Uh, treasure. Okay. Might as well jump down here, because this is, as I said, leading back to the beginning. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. Oh, we're seeing a little lag there. Oh, and somehow I missed some coins, but I don't care. <laughs> and there's a platform for the green one. But the, ah! Where'd you come from? And this is a really tight battle arena. Look how small this force field is. Although, that might make things a little bit easier. Because enemies won't, like, get away from you, per se. Although, they tend to sort of go after you anyway, so whatever. <laughs> and you're shooting your own guys. You are a terrible mini-boss. Give me some pocket change. Oof, that was not a good payout for what uh, all effort it takes to defeat you. <laughs> Uh, I believe there's a switch somewhere up here... yes. Oh, that's that green switch that I've seen that makes that platform appear up ahead. And now you'll see over here... By the way, the sand that you see moving doesn't make you move at all for some reason. And now you'll see this is back at the beginning, so now you know where you are. So this is what I mean about there being multiple pathways to get through this thing, but as I said, 100% or bust! So I'll be exploring everything until I get everything. Oh, and these things, they push you off the edge of things whenever they spew sand. Like, watch. Like that. So be wary of their sand streams or burps or something like that. Uh, just gotta... Careful... Whoop. There we go. Uh, trapdoor up there. I get up there from a higher path, I guess. Another one? So quickly? What is this blasphemy? Ah, I guess I'll defeat it again. And, well, another one again. I'm sure they're all different kinds of critters since I, you know, blow them into oblivion. Eh. They 
couldn't possibly be the same ones. <laughs> I am getting very efficient at defeating them. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how do I get to that upper path? Probably around the other side. I know I've been to that trapdoor before, but I just forgot how I, how I get up there. Um, this leads... Yeah, this leads to the left side, which I've already been to. And um, I'm going to go around, I suppose. Can I get up there? No, I guess not. At least not from there. Okay, can I get up there? That's... Looks like I can grab onto that ledge, but at the same time, I can't! Looks are deceiving. Uh, I could probably cheat that by jumping around that wall and grabbing onto the ledge, but I don't feel like that's something I should be doing. Uh, huh, I guess I'll just go around the, the left side again. I did not sing that in tune, or in sync with the song whatsoever, I'm just, I'm just making up things as I go. Oh shoot, well, at least I can show you the sewer area, I suppose. Anytime you fall into any of the sand pits or holes in this area, you end up here. And just like the others, there's absolutely nothing down here, so never even bother coming down here if you don't have to. This literally is a place just to uh, waste your time. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought that there, they would hide something down in one of those places one of these days, but they never did. Uh, let's go through here, and back around. Wait, wait, isn't there going to be a treasure over here now that I hit the switch? Yes! So it's good that I came through here again. A pyramid is a treasure, apparently. Oh, wait, I don't need to defeat you. I need to go up using that. Okay, I see a... Ow. Switch up there. That led to the shiny heart fragments. Uh, did I go over here? I'm betting I did. Did I go on any of those lower paths? I'm betting I didn't. Uh, yes, I did, because there's Garlic Man. And then there was that gust. And yeah, there's a switch. Okay. The little weather vane gust thingy. Eh. Woo! Whoa! No! Don't! 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 Don't put me over there! <laughs> Wait, I need to get up to the left there. Um, I guess I should be attempting to climb up using those um, uh, shovel guys, not the magnet guys. I was, I was gonna say the magnet guys, but they're different here. Okay, as I said, I've been through here. Oh wait, wait! This is this is a new path. If I climb this. Mario World style, or Super Mario Sunshine, if you want to use a remake of that uh, obstacle. Boop. Or New Super Mario Brothers Wii. E. Wait, what? You can't throw an enemy at Garlic Man? And that's weird. <laughs> I would think that he would dispense garlic if you hit him with an enemy. I, I am mistaken, I guess. Switch! And again, the sand does not push you off, despite how it looks. I don't get it either. <laughs> uh, heart fragments here. Uh, carefully go oh, around. Ooh. I wonder if I... I guess I'll do it now, just so I don't forget. I hope there's a way back up there. <laughs> oh, this one! I hate this one so much. You have to do a dash jump at that switch over there, off of that cloud. And... It is extremely awkward to do, to say the least. You can't even do it by, by walking across like that. Or, wait, I guess you can. How did I do it so quickly? I was stuck on this one for like 10 minutes on my first run. That didn't work for me the first time. I'm not complaining though, that... Those are scary. <laughs> I'm not complaining though. Alright, I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh, I don't need to get on top of those things, but I need to get on top of these. Well, there we go! <laughs> I was so worried that it was going to take me forever on that one. Oh, glad that's done and over with. Now, can I get up there using those ledges? Well, I can using these. 
Well, that's not a ledge, it's a fence. But you get what I mean. I love the desert remix of the Wario World tune here. The Wario World tune is a good tune in general. Oh, super laggy. Ah, no, no. Don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> it's too stressful. I'm afraid of heights. Wow, so much lag. Is there anything over here that I should be... I don't think there is. I, re ugh. I really don't think I should be jumping off random ledges that don't seem to have anything. Well, here's this. Come on. Laser. Laser. Mm -hmm. There we go. And... I'll make sure I get this right. There we go. Just center yourself as much as possible and you'll get through. Oh, this is the one. This is the one that I was saying earlier was the really annoying platforming segment. There's nothing that's moving around this area. It's it's pure plat. Okay, there's that platform over there. But I mean, everything is just simple platforming. But th it's just such a long segment that it's so hard to get through. Although... I said the other spots were also hard, and I got through them awfully quickly. Okay, over here, dash jump. Ha I was facing to the left. <laughs> I call blasphemy on that one. Uh, you'll notice that you'll have to jump down on top of that red crystal from above. I don't know if that's going to lead me back to the exit or not. I haven't gotten that far, actually, on this one before, because it was so tedious and long and... Yeah. Now over here, make the jump there, and you can just jump to these stairs like that, from there, and there's an odd question mark shaped dealio here, if you take a look at it from the sky, <laughs> but I think I couldn't get across when the block's at its lowest point, and whoop, there we go. Just take every jump one at a time. I don't think there's anything to the left. Alright. And yes, these are very nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh! And that's why this one is so hard. I don't know if there's any shortcuts to this level either. I I've tried doing various kinds of things to get across there easily, but all have failed for the most part except for these ones that I'm sort of demonstrating here. Um, there is another one that I kind of found a little bit later, I'll show you that in just a second. But otherwise, this one is really difficult. <laughs> like if you angle yourself slightly to the right and dash jump across, you can aim for that straight ledge across there, And but it's, it's really risky and it takes a while just to get even to here. <laughs> So it's not really worth it, in my opinion. I don't, I don't like how Wario doesn't turn around, you know, to where you're, to where you want to go immediately. It, so you sometimes end up aiming yourself at a different angle than you want to be. Eh. I'm glad for Wario's sticky fingers, though, on this one. That's it's very useful at times. Wait, wait, can I use the sticky fingers here? Yes, I can. So I don't need to dash jump there. Okay, good to know. What about here? Do I need to... I mean, can I use the sticky fingers here? Oh! oh! Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to, to dash jump those things at all, except for that one way back at the beginning. I, I don't care about those coins at all. Uh, does it matter which way I take? No, okay. Now we're on the upper path. This is about as far as I got before. Uh... I just don't know which path I'm supposed to take here exactly. That's that's sort of the issue that I'm having here. Because I know, I know there's a couple of different ways to get through this thing. Just by the looks of it. Or at least that's what it seems like. Eh. Careful. <laughs> I'm probably being more careful than I need to be, but this one is just so time-consuming that it's, it's more worth it to me to be careful than flail around. Okay. 
Uh, I think I want to take the right path. Mm, am I capable of making that jump? Yes. Okay. Because this looks like the path is going to be leading over to that um, Spriteling off to the side there. Oh, and the spring is up there. I mean, the spring is over there. So I'm actually going to have to go through this obstacle course twice. Ouch. How do I jump down to that red crystal? Where, like, where am I supposed to... I didn't see any way to get there from... How do I get over to the... Uh, I'm just trying to look here. How I can manage to get to that platform there. Maybe, maybe I should be dividing and conquering here and just like focusing on one thing at a time. So maybe I'll see the other path as I get up there. This gonna, yeah. If I jump directly to the left, I'll land onto the platform. Okay. Yeah, there's a spring. Uh, did I actually get all the spritelings? Yeah, I did get all the spritelings. By the way, I forgot to mention, uh, depending on how many spritelings you get, depends on how good your ending is. Like, there's multiple endings to this game. I'm not gonna show them all, because otherwise I'm gonna have to go through this game a load of times, and I just don't feel like doing that. So, I'm just getting you the best ending here by getting everything and anything. Um, the treasures and collectibles in general, uh, I mean the treasures, they unlock uh, Game Boy Advance demos of WarioWare. Uh, this was back when WarioWare was released, was first released. So, they had a demo version for the upcoming game, if I'm not mistaken. And this game was it. Am I angled correctly? Okay. Alright, I got it all, but I have to get back up there. Anyway, as I was saying about the treasures, they um, they unlock uh, like a demo version of the WarioWare game that was either going to be released or, or was already released. I don't, I don't recall the dates because it's so, been so long since the games have been released that I forgot when they were, but they... Uh, that's I, it's probably a, like a sales sort of thing, you know, on to Nintendo's part for the most part, probably. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna get myself up there and get out of here. This is so stressful, but it's not as hard as it was when I first went through it. Wait, wait I could just use that spring over there, couldn't I? I don't need to go through the obstacle course at all. I can just yeah. Oh. Why didn't I just do that to begin with? <laughs> oh, I'm glad to be out of there. And okay. oh, that was the last one. That was the last one. <laughs> yes, I am delighted. Okay, I'm doing a lot better than I did on my uh, um, first run here in terms of collecting because I know what I'm looking for now. Geez. Okay, now, now what I want to do is take one of these guys. Use them as platforms. Get into my palms. Eh, no, let me. Why am I getting bumped off the edge here? There we go. That takes you back to the beginning, and I don't know why you would want to go back to the beginning at this point. Uh, I'll defeat him later. <laughs> um, garlic man. Treasure. Okay, one more to go. Somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Wait, wait, was that a switch? Did I hit that? Oh, that's the last one. So I'm missing the switch that leads to the treasure that's up here. Where that switch is, I don't know just yet. I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, I bet you... I think that was the one that was on top of the ledge that I haven't gotten to yet. Okay, what if I plop down here? That takes me here. That's not helpful. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be the part where I wander around aimlessly, apparently. I can't up I can't actually climb on top of this thing if I wanted to. Does it give me any benefit? I don't think so. I don't know what the heck I'm climbing on either. It looks like just another version of these things. Like another giant head. Uh, of oh, oh, there's the switch I'm missing! 
Yes! 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 <laughs> and that means the level is pretty much 100%ed as of right now, because all you need to do from here is climb back up there. Oh, shoot, that's a little bit too high, isn't it? Let's just climb back up there and... yeah. Oh, I killed them! I killed them, no! How could I do such a thing? Don't hit me with the lasers. Wait, I, I, why can't I jump? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, why can't I jump up there now? Alright. Now I'll get on top of the head. Last treasure, GameCube! <laughs> Best treasure ever! Okay, that's the game I'm playing. I mean, I mean, the system I'm playing this game on. Well, actually, I'm playing it on my Wii. But that's only because I have my Wii connected to my uh, um, capture cords. You know, the, the AV cables I use to capture uh, the game system into my camcorder. I didn't, I didn't feel like switching to my GameCube. Both of them run, at, run the exact same, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, once this thing opens, I'm gonna go fill up on my health using Garlic Man down there. And one more. There we go. Give me some delicious garlic. Mmm. Pungent, savory, delicious. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I should say let's get to the boss. All Spritelings freed! All treasures collected! All heart pieces collected! All red crystals collected! It's such a beautiful thing, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go! And face at... Face at... Face down the boss! What a way to fail at the, you know, boss intro. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Well, I can... Whoops! I can punch the arm. Which, you shouldn't fall off the edge. That should be pretty obvious. You got some shock waves of sorts. I bet you I have to throw it at the boss. That's all I have to do? Seriously? That's pretty cool, green fire. It's like green and orange fire. So that's really all you have to do for this boss? Seriously? That is so disappointing. That's... I'm gonna be done with this boss so quickly. All this way to finally face down this boss that I don't remember, and it's already over. <laughs> that, that's easier than the worm boss in this very same level. <laughs> Woo! Well, I might as well do the boss boss of World 4. I mean, you guys are pretty much used to 45 minute parts anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> yeah! Maximum health! And yes, I will save just in case this boss battle goes to poo. <laughs> Pirate boss, obviously. Well, pirate theme boss. Oh, definitely a pirate boss. Alright, how do I defeat you? I don't know. What is this? Oh, it's a spring. Okay, so I use that to get up there, apparently, but how would I want to get up there? I'm on the wrong side of the ladder. Uh, am I supposed to throw things to his side, or am I just supposed to get over to his side? Uh, I know I could just get across there with dash jumps, but what's the point? Unless I know how to hit him. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> Did not expect that. And I fail on my dash jump. PK Gam, do better. Or maybe I'm just supposed to do that to get across to the other side. Oh, that works. That makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> and is that all I'm going to have to do to defeat him? Because now I just go to the other side and repeat. In fact, this guy might actually be easier than the other one. Because now you're just going to go over to the other side again, aren't you? Yep, with your hook shot. 
Oh no, I'm actually going to go up to the top. <laughs> this is a silly boss, but he's really, really easy. Alright, you're going to go to the other side again. Now you're down on the ground. Oh, you're guarding now! Oh, getting fancy! <laughs> okay, maybe this won't be as easy as I thought it would be! <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to... Oops. Wait, what? I could just use this? Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> That's another way to do it, I suppose. Make yourself vulnerable, dang it. Probably, it's probably after his charge, like right after his charge or something. So I got probably time my punches a little bit better. Whoops. Oh, no, no. Let me up. Let me up. No, do not shoot your explody ball. Mm, mm. Can I get you from up here? Oh! Okay, maybe this boss won't be as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> really cool boss battle, though. Mm. All right. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Wait, that didn't, that didn't cost me any... I mean, that didn't give me any damage whatsoever. All right, what am I supposed to do to you here? It's like after a certain point, he becomes invulnerable. <laughs> am I supposed to throw a ball at him? You know, one of those explodey balls? Right, oop, ow. He's not very good at staying on his own ship. <laughs> but at the same time, he, that makes him very easy... I mean, he, he does a very good job of evading my attacks. Okay, what am I supposed to do to hit him, really? Am I really supposed to use one of those explodey walls? He's flashing, so it's like he's should be vulnerable to... I mean, he's he's flashing, so that might mean he's just invincible in general. Hmm. Alright. Gotta think about this. He must make himself vulnerable eventually. At least I think he would. Hey. Apologies for the quiet commentary here. Well, I guess you can't be quiet when it comes to commentary. <laughs> ah! But I'm just trying to figure this out here. <laughs> hmm. Looks like you can shoot that explodey ball anywhere on the field. Can I, like, do anything with his attacks to hit him? Ow. Okay, I hit him perfectly after he just made himself, you know, pop out of his spin there. Did, did he, like, glitch or something? I don't think he would glitch. Because there's got to be a point where he's vulnerable. I, I just probably aren't seeing it. Ow. <laughs> but I've got plenty of coins to pay off my debt to the Grim Reaper. Alright. With all those coins, it's like I pretty much have unlimited continues for this boss. Wait, what is this rope here? Is that rope? Oh, a barrel? Can I throw this at you? Yes! That's how you do it! Okay, so he wasn't glitching, and he really was supposed to be invulnerable to everything except barrels. <laughs> okay, I want you to jump over to the other side again, because I know that's where the barrels are. Don't do that. <laughs> Not when I have a barrel. I can't really do anything with this now, can I? Yeah, I have to go up to him. Boop! Ow. 
Come on, jump to the right side. Ow. You are a very good shot at close range. <laughs> okay, he's back over there. Well, let him shoot towards that side so it kind of diverts his attention. Eh. Voila! Another boss bites the dust. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing in this part because it's gone on for a long while. But man, I'm happy to finally get all these stages done because, well, I'm a tad tired of doing such long parts. <laughs> I'm having a load of fun playing through this game, but it's really hard to keep up with the... Uh, uh, you know, daily updates. Oh, I haven't been doing daily updates lately because of how long these parts take. It's kind of hard to make time for, you know, making a part that may or may not be successful. So you gotta kind of like make time for the possibility of having to redo a part two or three times. Just in case. Alright, as I said, that's all I'm gonna be doing. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, which will likely be the finale. Ta -da -da!